Hi, my name is Barnaby Donoghue. I'm an automotive application specialist at Pico Technology, and I'm going to take you through a wriggle test to test the circuits using our resistance probe. First thing we need to do is set up PicoScope. So we've got PicoScope running, a device connected, and our guided test dialog on the screen. We go to system test, wriggle test, wriggle test, and we want to load the guide and the settings file. Now Peakscope has already configured all the settings for you, so we've got a good range in ohms and we've got a good time base of 20 seconds along the bottom. The range is also ranging, which means that you can use this preset for both insulation and continuity testing. Um, you'll see that we've also got um, our test guidance, which has got the instructions plus all the further information you might need for this test. So I'll minimize that. Ready. Now, with Peakscope software set up, next thing we need to do is to set up the device. So we've got our Peakscope here. We want to connect our resistance probe to channel A. And we see that the device has recognized it and imitated the shell colors here with yellow and green. Now, we want to connect the probe to the vehicle. I'm going to test an EGR valve earth circuit which goes straight to earth so I've disconnected it from the component and got a connector on the battery earth terminal let's plug in our resistance lead if this was a if we knew this went to an ECU we'd want to disconnect at both ends right so we're all connected now we can start picoscope Peakscope is running. Um, so what I'm going to do is go around and wiggle the loom and see what's around. Um, until, oh, there we go, until we find a fault. So here we go, we've wiggled this bit of loom here. Got an intermittent fault. So now I need, know that I need to go investigate that circuit some more and um, perform a effective repair. So whenever you see a change in resistance, um, with this test, whilst you're doing a wiggling on the loom, you know that you've got a circuit fault. Um, what it doesn't tell you is if you definitely haven't got a fault. So if you're not getting anything with the wiggle test with resistance, you may well need to use a um, bolt drop test with a circuit under load to actually totally confirm that you haven't got a circuit fault. Okay, hope that's helped. I'll see you soon.